guys, now we are talking a uh, look at a uh, more entry level uh, Z87-A motherboard from ASUS. It's actually a new motherboard uh, for the Z87 lineup. So over here you can see uh, there's a Z87A, this is the board itself. There's also another variant uh, called the Z87C which is probably the same board but with a different layout. So let's take a look at the main features of this board. So uh, same thing, uh, it's gold color instead of the usual blue from the X67 uh, and Z77 chipsets. There's an 8 pin connector over here as you can see. Uh, probably not what you can usually see from uh, entry level uh, entry level motherboard. Uh, we have a four pin, uh, four slots for your DIMM as well, uh, which can be overclocked to 2800 megahertz. And we have your uh, definitely a MEM OK button over here for uh, best memory uh, compatibility uh, and troubleshooting. And other than that is uh, LGA 1150 for the newest Haswell processors from uh, Intel. And we have a gold color nice uh, heatsink for the uh, circuit tree uh, as well as a nice off bridge heatsink. Uh, let's take a look at the PCIe connectors. There's a one, one X, uh, an X16. Another, this is a PCI, a usual PCI 2.2 uh, slot as well. Another X1, uh, another one X or PCI Express one X. Then uh, we have another PCI EX16. This is actually a X X16. Uh, behold, okay. This is actually a X16 physically slot but it's only uh, electrically X8 but the first one is actually uh, physically and electrically X16 and lastly we have uh, another PCI slot it's quite dark over here and the last one is uh, X16 with X8 uh, electrically uh, it supports NVIDIA SI and there's a direct key for you to switch it on and the chassis fan and TPU switches are over here and let's take a look at the side ports, the SATA ports over here. So these are actually all uh, SATA 60 bit per second ports native from the X, the Z87 chipset. So there's actually six of it, two uh, stacked up and uh, four of them uh, uh, arranged horizontally. Let's take a look at the IO ports. Uh, we have first a PS2 port, two USB 2.0, a display port, HDMI port, uh, SPD out, uh, both VGA and DVI out, uh, two, four USB 3.0 ports. Uh, uh, gigabit internet I believe yeah, I think so and the 8 channel audio out so you can see that this actually has a little bit different as compared to the other over here which is the Z87-C so it's the difference between the A or C so the first difference you can see is the layout of the SATA ports so the SATA ports over here uh, instead of it's actually opposite we have 4 arranged on the board and 2 facing out instead and uh, instead of having three PCI let's do it this way instead of having three PCI uh, express slots you only have two but yes the first one is actually X16 electrically and uh, the third one is X8 electrically and we have three uh, PCI 2.2 ports so it's probably useful for more legacy devices and lastly a uh, PCI express X1 slot over here and uh, as well as another one at the top and for we are not getting any uh, display ports a uh, mini display ports over here instead of a HDMI port Two USB 2.0 ports, uh, your standard uh, VGA and DVI, as and then the rest are probably similar uh, in terms of the comparison between the A and the C. So that's it. Uh, we have both boxes over here, which is uh, very similar in design, just a little bit different in layout. So that's it, I guess. Uh, take another look at it. Bye bye.